Welcome to the Tinnitus and Hyperacusis Clinic. Misophonia is a, a subtype of hyperacusis and people become um, sensitive to certain types of noise and, um, and they may have a strong emotional and behavioural reaction to those sounds. Uh, in people who experience misophonia, the, the noises that they usually uh, are affected by are uh, man-made noises like eating noises, breathing, sniffing. This type of noise can, can bother them a lot and can affect on their life quite uh, significantly. Uh, imagine a person who has misophonia may find it difficult at the dinner table with the family and have to isolate themselves or keep using headphones to distract themselves from the noises. And uh, in misophonia the noises doesn't have to be very loud and um, so even the softer noises uh, cause a lot of disturbance and uh, it is uh, highly prevalent among teenagers, children, uh, adults and even older people. Dr. Aja's 2018 study showed that a third of children with tinnitus and hyperacusis also experience misophonia, and 20% of adults with hyperacusis also have misophonia. Patients who received cognitive behavioural therapy showed up to 30% reduced impact on their lives, and the misophonia-related distress in social places reduced from 60% to less than 10%. Therapy can help people to, um, to not to get annoyed from the noises, and um, it is very important to expose themselves to the noises so then they can learn uh, and practice the skills that they learn in the therapy. So if they no longer are annoyed by the noises that they hear, then their auditory system wouldn't focus on those noises. So it is not a lifelong condition, it is something that easily can be treated. The, the sooner people get treatment for it, the better. Uh, because imagine the noises that uh, people with misophonia are troubled by are the noises that are made by people, mainly the close members of the family and their close friends. And this can uh, heavily influence on their relationship with the people that they love the most. Over the last 15 years, Dr. Hashir Aj has developed and managed several NHS tinnitus and hyperacusis services in London and Surrey. He has written over 25 scientific papers in the field of audiology. His research has influenced British guidelines for hearing assessment, oral rehabilitation and forensic neuropsychology. In 2009, he was awarded the Josh Miller Shield from the British Society of Audiology. 